So now that we've seen what happens to adults with ADHD, undiagnosed ADHD, in the work field, in the workforce, in the job hunt, now we see what happens to a parent, to that single parent that has to raise up their ADHD child. And for a lot of parents, there's that one single parent that feels like they have to do it all on their own. Like they have nobody else to depend on, unfortunately. And they feel like it all falls on them. Unfortunately, some of these parents feel like they're the only ones that really love their son or daughter and understand them. Let's take a look. I feel that if Daniel gets expelled one more time, I I don't know what I'm going to do. Some nights I get very sleepy because Daniel cannot fall asleep or stay asleep. And he will start acting very energetic and running around late into the night. This causes me to feel quite tired the following day. Sometimes while I'm working from home, I'll start feeling very anxious and nervous because I'm almost certain that I'm going to get a phone call from Daniel's school that he has gotten in trouble again. I, I feel so ashamed and it's so, and so embarrassed sometimes, but regardless, I love my little boy. Sometimes I get so overwhelmed. I have to pull my car over to the side of the road. I feel so alone in this, but I have to remember it's for my son. If I feel as though if I weren't there for Daniel, who would be? His father does not have patience to work with him or to discipline him. 
Once Daniel gets energetic or distracted, his father yells and threatens him. All of this feels like it's too much to handle. I just wish there was something I could do to help my son. I, I don't know how much more of this I can take. I just wish more people could see the great and loving little boy that Daniel is. His energetic and impulsive behavior is something that his schools, our neighbors, and other family members have complained about. This includes my husband, who believes that Daniel's energetic, impulsive, and troubling behavior is because of negligence, lack of discipline, and outright bad parenting, specifically for me. I often have to make up excuses for not attending events, and it's mainly because I fear, fear Daniel is going to break something or upset someone, or because I am physically and emotionally exhausted. There are days when I have to put my phone on silent because I just, I just need some, t some time to distress and pull myself together. If there was one thing I could wish, it would be for support. I wish other moms, parents, and teachers knew what I had to go through for my son. I love him with all my heart. I just wish I felt that love and support back from those who close to me. Taking care of Daniel is a near 24 seven job that can be very mentally draining especially when you feel like no one else understands or wants to help. Yes, this is she. Ex Excel? What do you mean, Excel? What did he do? Is there something, any way we could do? Like, what can I do to fix this? Or what can we do? Like, is there any other options not necessarily being Excel? It's not always easy having to reflect that maybe, and just maybe, our son or daughter doesn't feel as loved as they should. For a lot of kids, adults, they look up to us. They look up to their teachers. They look up to their parents. And when a kid feels like they have nobody, it can be absolutely devastating. 
for a lot of us. Fade HD, when we grow up as kids in school, or on the playground, maybe in PE or physical education classes, some people with ADHD, or rather a lot of people with ADHD, are chosen last. And it makes us feel pretty harsh. Not only chosen last, perhaps in sports only, or maybe during recess or lunch and or nutrition, but also in the classroom. You see, people with ADHD, they're told a lot more negative things than people that don't have ADHD. A lot of teachers seem to think people with ADHD are just outright troublemakers, kids that can't succeed or won't change, or worse yet, the lost cause, if you will. And it's not the truth. It's just that the condition's not being addressed.